Kyle Richards insists there's much more to the story when it comes to Teddy Mellencamp's text messages. Kyle Richards is breaking down her version of events from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Bahamas getaway. In her latest Bravo blog, Kyle admits that she struggled with the drama in the Bahamas. Furthermore, Kyle says that it's not easy calling a friend out, referring to Lisa Vanderpump. It is not easy to say something to a close friend that you know they don't want to hear, Kyle confessed. However, in the end, Kyle says she had to be honest. And while last week's episode of RHOBH ended in a way that made Teddy Mellencamp look very guilty, Kyle promises, there is much more to this story. Don't read Kyle's full blog below. We pick up again in the Bahamas. It really is such a beautiful place. The group split up to do different activities. It was really funny watching Teddy and Erica play golf, especially since I'm taking lessons currently and can relate. Well, at least I can relate to Teddy. Let's just say I'm more of a Teddy type of player. I may be hitting Erica up for some lessons soon. Dot Camille, Denise, Lisa Rinna, and Dorit all go snorkeling. The topic of Lucy and last night's dinner comes up. Camille makes a valid point. The dog should have just gone back to Vanderpump Dogs. I understand that Dorit thought she found it a good home and told Lisa the following day but things wouldn't have been as messy as they are now if she had just given it back. Dot and Denise is right. When adopting a dog, you have to find the right match for your family. Having small children with a dog that you don't know anything about can be risky. Dot but there are two issues at hand now. Dorit not giving the dog back and the matter being put out there at Vanderpump Dogs by the people that Lisa works with. Dot it seems like it was a passive-aggressive move on Lisa's part. Maybe because she didn't want to rock the boat with Dorit and PK she acted like the matter was put to rest, but it clearly was not. The fact that Lisa and Dorit are so close made it more difficult to swallow. If Lisa knew Dorit didn't have bad intentions like she keeps saying, then why did John Sessa bring it up at Vanderpump Dogs? Rest assured Lisa and John Sessa had many conversations regarding this matter prior to us going to Vanderpump Dogs. Lisa and John are very close. The fact that it was brought up at Vanderpump Dogs left Dorit vulnerable to dog activists getting the story wrong and going after her which in turn could be very damaging. Dot yes, I did bring up the dog last week because we discuss what is going on in our group. That had been a main topic of conversation since they told us about it at Vanderpump Dogs. Just like Dorit told Erica about the dog and Dorit and Lisa V talked about it at lunch with Ken and PK. Dot at lunch, with Lisa, I am honest with her about what I think about this situation. That Lisa, instead of being forthcoming to Dorit, had this information given to Teddy, and me, hoping we would go after Dorit about it since Teddy and I were not in a great place with Dorit. Lisa first denies that then later feigns confusion saying how could I tell Dorit that Teddy instigated the conversation when it was John. And John was out of order. This is a classic Lisa V move. Trying to twist the conversation in hopes of confusing you and changing the narrative. Dot that is not what I had said. Clearly, 
I meant going forward she hoped Teddy would adore it. Not that Lisa said Teddy instigated the story at Vanderpump Dogs. Lisa knew exactly what I was saying. It is not easy to say something to a close friend that you know they don't want to hear. But I had to be honest. Then when I said I thought that this all happened because Lisa was upset with Dorit she replied, why would I be upset with Dorit? Um, hello. The dog. She then uses the example of the baby flamingos and John says a feeling like a parent to the dogs. So are you mad or not? I think all of this could be resolved sooner if she just came out and said that. Dot but here we are. A total mess of a situation that feels heavy now. Dot before we go to dinner, Teddy and Lisa V have a conversation in Lisa V's and Dorit's room. Teddy tells Lisa about the text's messages. Dot Lisa then basically admits what we had been saying all along. Yes, she told Dorit that Teddy knew, because she thought Teddy would use it against her considering their history and that Dorit should get in front of it. This totally contradicted what she said to me at lunch. Later at dinner, it seems we all have high hopes for a fun night. When Lisa V and Dorit arrived, their mood seemed off. You could cut the tension with a knife. There were a lot of cross conversations going on, but I was preoccupied getting my watch delivered to me before the store closed, because I was leaving at 4 a.m., and before my husband changed his mind. When Teddy voiced what she was feeling and then Dorit said she believed Teddy, that was it for Lisa V. Lisa announced she was leaving because nobody was paying attention to her. I felt bad and chased after her. I tried to get her to stay but realized she really wasn't in the mood to be there. Dot after Lisa V left, Lisa Rinna turned to me for some answers. I didn't like being put in that position. Lisa V and I have been close for many years. We have had our ups and downs. But answering questions about why Lisa had done certain things felt like I was talking behind her back. I think the others read that as me not being honest. I do have strong opinions about what happened during the events that were being talked about, but I didn't feel I had to answer questions about Lisa Vanderpump that they could ask her personally. I tried explaining that with friends you take the good with the bad. And hopefully the good outweighs the bad and that nobody is perfect. We are all flawed. I understand the frustration, but at this point, I wanted to move on and try to have fun. Dot the rest of the group headed out to a club after dinner. Like I said, we were overserved. I love that expression. Removes you from any responsibility for your actions. Seems to be a common theme lately. Not back in LA, Ken shows Lisa V the printed out text messages between Teddy and John Blizzard. These text messages seemingly implicate Teddy. But there is much more to this story. Stay tuned. Dot until next week, exo, Kyle. Dot the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills airs on Tuesdays at 9 p. MAST on Bravo. Join me tonight on Twitter to discuss the drama as it unfolds.